Thunder Bay Fire Rescue's mission is to protect life, property and the environment through public fire safety education, fire code enforcement and emergency response. Primarily due to our geography and the fact that we're isolated, we are a very technically diverse uh, department and we have to respond to a, a vast number of response objectives with very little help from surrounding departments. The information and the data that we have today, we know that the modern fire is much more volatile than the legacy fire ever was and we're obligated to adjust our tactics and our strategy to address the modern fire ground. In order to keep our personnel safe on the fire ground, we have to understand fire behavior. Today's fire behavior is much more extreme than it ever has been because of the fuel packages in our buildings. We have to understand that our tactics have to reflect what the modern fire requires to be extinguished. We recognize today's smoke is basically a chemical cocktail. It's a carcinogen soup. And one of the best things we can do on the fire ground is reduce our exposure to that smoke. So we can put tactics in place that are still viable for fighting fires but reduce our personnel's exposure to that fire. Thunder Bay Fire Rescue has all of our personnel trained to the operations level and a significant number of hazmat technicians. We are one of six provincial level response teams for the province of Ontario that can be deployed anywhere in the province upon request by the minister. The NFPA standards are consensus standards developed by uh, professionals in the fire service for the fire service. We are currently transitioning from the Ontario standard to the NFPA standard. Everyone in our department from the deputy to recruit are testing and training to the NFPA standard. Our tiered response is an agreement between police, fire and ambulance to maintain a high level of response for the public in emergency medical situations. We at Thunder Bay Fire Rescue respond to unconscious, difficulty breathing, ambulance not available, and vital signs absent. The Cyano Kit program is medical equipment that we've added to our trucks that are responding to fires to help save the lives of fire victims and firefighters. Thunder Bay Fire Rescue's Smoke and CO Alarm program is a public education program where our suppression crews go door to door and they educate the public on the importance of smoke and carbon monoxide alarms as well as the legal requirements of what's required in each home. Thunder Bay Fire Rescue has a zero tolerance towards any fire code violations. So anytime we come across an inspection that has violations, we write inspection orders only. And they work because they are a legal document that holds the person accountable to a date that they must comply with. The importance of mental health in the fire service is that firefighters are not immune to mental health issues. We're just beginning to realize that mental health has just as much importance as physical health. R2MR is the Road to Mental Readiness. It's a mental health program designed by the Department of National Defense and adapted for fire. Safe Talk is a program designed to create openness and for people to be able to talk about their emotions and thoughts. The Critical Incident Stress Program we use is called CERT, which is, stands for Critical Incident Response Team. It's a team that's peer-driven and the idea is that it creates a healthy dialogue around stressful events and provides resources for individuals if so needed. It's important to build a mental health support network because studies have proven that the quicker one can get intervention and help, the quicker one can become healthy and return back to work. Thunder Bay Fire Rescue is responsible for responding to 44 kilometers of shoreline with some inland waterways. We have a technically diverse water rescue, swift water rescue and ice rescue capability that we respond to with a number of uh, water and ice rescue craft. At Thunder Bay Fire Rescue, with the support of our Chief and Deputies, we will continue to move forward with training to the standard and beyond to keep our firefighters safe and the public safer. We're teaching our firefighters to be intellectually aggressive, and by that we mean that they're thinking firefighters. They understand the individualness of each fire and adjust their tactics appropriately to, to address that particular fire. Due to the fact that um, we've received significant support from our city council, we've, it's enabled us to become the department we are today, both uh, technically diverse and with the equipment and um, you know, facilities and apparatus that we have. Thunder Bay Fire Rescue wants to continue to diversify, uh, use the, the science that's out there, the uh, information that's out there to continually improve and provide the best service we can to the public and the citizens of Thunder Bay.